gas crisis in Europe heats up uranium prices winter is coming and Russia is threatening to cut off natural gas supplies to Europe. Politicians are panicky. It is a big opportunity for investors. Gazprom announced last week that it would cut gas flowing to Germany to only 20% of capacity. The Russia-owned company transports natural gas to Europe through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. The crisis is a boon for nuclear power, and Chemical Corporation CCJ. Russia cutting supply of natural gas to Europe was the likely outcome. President Vladimir Putin began threatening to choke off supply only weeks after the invasion of Ukraine in retaliation for Western sanctions. It is a nightmare scenario for Europe. The International Energy Agency notes that 45% of natural gas supplies in 2021 to the continent flowed from Russia. Now Putin is playing his ace card, only months ahead of winter. The decision could have a big impact in the United States, too. Global inflationary pressures have finally started to wane. Commodity prices such as lumber, copper, wheat since June have all been in steep decline. However, depleted supplies of natural gas in Europe are causing prices to spike. Those prices cause electricity costs in the United States to surge, or 38% of power plants use the commodity as feedstock. The Biden administration has been pressing the Europeans to offset gas shortages with increased nuclear power production. And there is a notable headway. The European Parliament voted earlier in July to label some nuclear projects as green energy. The move paves the way forward for more nuclear power use on the continent, according to a report in the New York Times. Germany previously planned to phase out all nuclear power by 2022. Nuclear power has been derided for four decades. The numbers of plants globally peaked in 1996 when 17. 5% of all electric power was generated in those facilities. Since then public opinion has soured and the political will to keep plants open weighing badly. A complete meltdown in 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear reactor in Russia led to the depopulation of 68,000 people across 1,000 square miles in northern Ukraine. And 154, 400 Japanese were evacuated in 2011 when the nuclear plant in Fukushima was damaged following a tsunami. Nuclear power plants all over the world began to close. Today these facilities generate only 10.3% of the world's electricity. Now winter, and Russia, are forcing governments to rethink closures, and consider new investment.